Alright, so looking at the bell ringer, the dragonfly larvae favoring completely weighted stickleback fish is one type of evidence that natural selection is taking place in low bird lake. Hmm, I know what happened. Well, tell us what happened. And then fly oh. ate the fish. Uh huh. No, you said the dragonfly ate the fish. Oh. Um, what about that? When it ate the fish, it adapted some kind of wave. I don't know. But I know it ate the fish. We, want, we know it ate the fish, but we want to know why. Because it's just the place on the place, stick on there on the place. So they got more place than they can eat it like that. Okay, slow down. What? <laughs> you know, all the plates are on the, they go to the fish that are more plated because they can get a host of them. Okay, so the completely plated fish, because of those plates, the larvae can attach to them and that's how they catch them. Because without the plates, are they going to be able to catch them this easy? No, no, no. Okay, so they're not going to be able to catch them. So, but now what type of evidence is this? Is this veritability, heritability, or is this selection? Why is it selection? So they choose what type of um, thing they would eat. That's right. That's right. Uh, because because these larvae favor this completely uh, covered ones, uh, in order for the species to survive, they got to start adapting. And that's why they went from being those ocean fish to what? Lake fish. To those lake fish. All right. That is a good job. Yesterday, uh, we started working on those posters where you're uh, going back and using all the, inf the information that we used this week. We're going to go back to the posters. Hopefully we'll uh, have time to get the posters done or get some work done on them. We'll finish them up next week. But before we do that, we're going to do some act uh, activity. Uh, you're going to pair up. And what I'm going to do is give you a, uh, a article, some information about um, different organisms and how they undergo natural selection. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that out to you. So go ahead and get with your partner or your partners. Uh, while you're doing that, get you out two sheets of paper. You're going to need two sheets of paper. Everybody needs two sheets of paper. Who I am, like, uh, type in that number. But they, they don't have the information. I have it. 
I don't see nothing. Okay, everybody straight? We got our four digit number on top of our paper. All right, so now listen. You're not going to use your sheet of paper right now. That's going to be for the next thing that we do. So just put it to the side. You're going to write on this worksheet that I gave you, okay? So in your groups, the first thing that you're going to want to do is read about this particular organism, okay? You're going to have, each of you have something different. And it's going to talk about how natural selection is happening in these in this species that you have, okay? Some of them are going to require you to um, do a graph, okay? It'll give you a chart and you'll have to do your graph. Remember, which one is the x-axis? Let me see it. Which direction? The left. Left and right. Which one is the y? Up and down. So make sure, make sure that you're thinking about that and you keep that in mind when you're doing your graph. Do we connect the lines on the scatter plot graph? Yes. No. No. On the scatter plot, we don't. They're just going to be dots. You remember how we did the activity either Monday or Tuesday? Yeah. And um, you had to make a scatter plot based on the, the offspring. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't connect the dots that time, okay? okay. All right, so uh, what about a bar graph? Yeah, no. Bar graph. It'll be those bars, okay? So keep that in mind. If it tells you, it's going to tell you which one to do. If you need to separate your papers in order to, to, to graph and everything, that's fine, okay? I'm going to walk around. If you need me, let me know. Okay? Let's go.
the ones that were normal had more hemoglobin than the ones who were carriers or the ones who had sickle cell. Mm -hmm. All right, or, y'all want to go? Yeah. All right. Hold on, speak up so everybody can hear, because y'all, are y'all listening? Yes. Oh, we can't hear it, though. She can't hear it. Find out. Most of the offspring weren't very far from the parents. Okay. 
pages are about the same. Okay. Some of, them are some of the some of the offspring had even higher rates. This one has any chance there for the offspring. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of them is two point four. The other one is point eight. Okay. Can you tell what kind of uh, which what which offspring is more which type of evidence is this that support natural selection? Is it veritability, hereditability, or selection? Hereditability. And why is it hereditability? Because it's the parents given to the offspring with their traits on. Exactly, exactly. So hopefully, as you did yours, you were able to identify if it's veritability, hereditability, or selection that was justifying why yours were not, was natural selection, or you know why that was natural selection. Okay. All right. Any questions? Comments. Okay. We're gonna take them up in just a minute. Okay. All right. So now listen. Let me see one of the uh, checklists. Okay. All right. If you are not finished with this checklist, I want you to finish it. Do not leave the evidence blank. Do not leave it blank. Tell me why. I need to know why that is correct. Don't just put yes or no. Tell me why. Once you finish, are you listening? Yes. Once you finish with the checklist, I want you to put it over here. We're going to put some stacks over here. Also, the worksheet that you just did, you're going to stack that over here. And then I'm going to pass you out a uh, survey before you leave. And then we're going to finish up with the exit ticket, okay? Well, that's, what's, that's what your paper is for. I'm going to tell you what it is in just a minute. Okay? This is how hard you look at I I know what the ticket is. I know what the ticket is. You know what it is. Yep. 